since then we've been trying to find and um, we've been to a lot of different churches, a lot of different places and you know, um, the only place really that I've found that I can share my story uh, was at the TBI clinic. We had war groups where we brought in um, you know, other warriors uh, that had the same experiences. Uh, and they, they did bring a chaplain in there um, just to see how kind of we get a feel for it. And uh, everybody really appreciated his input and his insight and, you know, um, his understanding. And, you know, I think for a uh, chaplain, a pastor, you know, clergyman, you know, they're the experts. They're the experts, are supposed to be the experts on God. You know, that's what I think of when I think of them. So when I go to them and to share my story, I, I feel like I'm sharing like with uh, an ambassador to God, I would say, you know. So, you know, I expect them to, I guess, have, you know. Insight? Uh, yeah, insight to, you know, the man himself upstairs, I guess. I don't know, like, you know, I don't expect to be like blessed and, okay, I feel clean and, you know, all my sins are forgiven, but I feel like, okay, I'm in a good place, you know. I, my, the weight is lifted off a little bit. Eh. The biggest thing that, I don't know, a lot of these guys that go to war struggle with is, you know, can, will God save me because I've killed people? Like, you know, I committed these great sins, so am I gonna be saved? You know, and so they wanna stay away from churches because, you know, I don't, I don't know that there is a chaplain or there is somebody that can say, yes, you can be saved because, you know, God will save you. You know, because you, you, even though you did this great uh, sin, um, 